Oh, nice. You roll up on the most impressive bit of tenement squalor you've seen in a long time. There's few street lamps here, and what light there is flickers with uncertainty. Most of the buildings are damaged and tagged. The smell of old, rotting trash mixed with you-don't-want-to-know is overwhelming. It's no, wonder pe- it's no wonder people here living here turn to BTLs. Anything's better than this. The better than life chip is the newest drug on the market. You don't need a good life. You can slot someone else's, live through them, and wreck your brain in the process. Front, the front doors of the Royale Apartments aren't even locked. As you step inside, you can hear a junkie crying for another hit. It's time to find Coyote and find out what she knows about the night of Sam's murder. I would never, ever do drugs, because that's not my scene. Yeah. But if I could put something in my head that would make me, like, live another life, that mm-hmm. would be radical. I would totally try that. Well, you probably shouldn't do it with the BTLs in, in Shadowrun, because they destroy your brain in the process. Yeah. They're well, not good. They ain't good for you. Yeah. That was also the premise of that Tech War show, if I remember correctly. Tech Wars? You know that, sh- that show William Shatner had? Oh, yeah. It's, we're, we're, I'm, I'm getting a bit far afield here. Paco. The Royal, the Royal Apartments. What a hole. Can't imagine what it was like for Coyote growing up here. Paco trails off. These poor people. What a waste. Coyote's here. We have to hurry. She's good, but, well, these BTL guys pay to stay well informed. They may have known she was coming. You know, I have this big pile of karma I haven't used. It's 15. Yeah. I love the ironically fancy name. The what? I love the ironically fancy name. What, the Royale? Yeah. They're living at, like, the Beverly Hills apartments, which are, like, this giant slum. I'm boosting my quickness to four. I'm kind of tempted to just... only cost one karma. What, what, what do you say I get spirit summoning just for the hell of it? Oh, yeah. Do it. I... I, da- I dabbled in the occult in my teens or something, and... And this experience has reawakened the, uh... <laughs> the magic within me. It can be a good idea to, um... You might want to... Even if you're not playing, like, a shaman-type character, it can be useful to bring your charisma up to, like, four or so. Mm. Just because there are, there are a number of conversation options that get unlocked charisma four. And also, every two charisma, you get a new etiquette. We've got Shadowrunner. Corporate, security, gang, socialite, street, academic. I think I'll go with corporate. You spent some time in the corporate world, did you? Yeah, you know, after my occult phase, I, 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 I had this internship. It didn't go very well, because... Because I'm here. <laughs> yeah. He's quickness to four. All right, <clears throat> summarize. I've increased quickness to four. I've increased ranged combat to four, which gives me access to Overwatch, which is like, you know, it's like reaction fire, basically. I can I can conserve an, AP, an action point and have it so... and set a firing arc, and so that if an enemy moves into that on their turn, I, fight, I take a shot at them. Cool. Um, and I have, I've increased drone control and drone combat to two. The drone combat two gives me this gives me plus five drone accuracy. Nice. And just for the hell of it, I gave myself one point in spirit summoning, <laughs> which allows which makes spirit summoning points visible. Just because, well, just because it would be amusing to summon spirits and have them run amok, basically. Anyways, you were telling me about a time when you accidentally sold the TV to a lady. Oh, yeah. Okay. Story time, everybody. I went to Best Buy in, like, 2000, 2001. And this is back when, like, big screen TVs were, like, you know, an exotic new, pretty, you know, new and very expensive technology, right? And you know how people at Best Buy dress, right? Yeah. Like, blue shirt, like, grayish tan pants. Yeah, like khakis. Yeah. I owned a lot of shirts and pants like that. And so, one day, just by coincidence, I was like, I don't know, a senior in high school, or maybe a junior, or maybe a freshman in college, or something. Just, just by coincidence, I went to Best Buy, and just without thinking, I happened to be wearing a blue shirt and, like, khaki pants. 
<laughs> so I looked like a Best Buy employee. And I'm just going around, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, browsing, whatever. And I'm looking at the TVs. I'm like, you know, like, wow, these are, you know, it's amazing how big these were. And I knew a thing or two about them because I was, you know, I was into technology. Right. So this, this lady starts asking me about the TV. And I, I remember I'm thinking, I don't know why she's asking me about it. But, but you know, I, I wanted to be nice. So I said, oh, you know, they do this and they do that. And, you know, there's this technology and that technology. And, she, and, that conv- I, and she, I accidentally convinced her to buy it. Because <laughs> she thought I was their TV guy. Did she, like, ask you to rent? When did you figure it out? <laughs> I, think, I think it was after I walked out. <laughs> I was actually I was actually offered a job because some some guy saw it and, and said like he would like endorse me if I wanted to apply there and I actually considered it but the, I couldn't it's too loud. Yeah. But yeah, I, I I'm the mass it's like, it was like the ultimate low pressure sales technique, you know, cuz I I genuinely had no interest if she bought it or not. <laughs> That's a, it's that is a, another good sales technique. Not giving pretend a fuck. Like pretend like you don't care. <laughs> because then it like lowers their guard and they're like, oh, this right. person isn't, isn't actually trying to sell to me. It's not a, a a very effective one if you're not a good actor. Or unless or unless you're you know just an idiot who doesn't realize that they think you're an employee. <laughs> okay. All right, here we are in this rather unpleasant place, the Royale. Some people here. A sad old man. Tweaker. Hey, you. Woman scratches herself like a cat at a couch leg. Couch leg. Please, can you spare some Nguyen? You've got a stink on you, junkie. Drop the chips. Get clean. <laughs> Winners don't use <laughs> chips. My cred stick's a little light, too, lady. What can you do for me in exchange? You got nothing to g- left give, guy. It all goes to BTLs. Everything. Please, just a few million. Maybe I can credit you for some information. Have you seen a woman come look through here today, armed and looking for trouble? Yes! No! Hell, what do you want me to say? I'll tell you everything. Please. Wow, she's she totally dro- useless. She drops to her knees, pleading. Here's a sec. You're f- you're too gone to you're t- too far gone to help me, or anyone. Or I'm sorry, but I can't help you. You should leave this place if you can. But that doesn't make sense. The BTLs are here. I just need something. She collapses, whimpering, and seems lost to this world. BTLs are bad news. Yeah. Unlike B unlike BLTs, which we discussed. Yeah. Unless the B unless the BLT is made of soy, in which case it is also bad news. I knew this. An evil mega corporation, presumably. Okay, now here's some guys. You can just shoot your way in there, I think, but maybe there's a sad old man. You're not from around here, are you? I don't want any trouble. Easy gramps. I'm just looking for information, then I'm gone. Or things are pretty bad here, but I can make them even worse for you. Now <laughs> just tell me what you've seen. Good lord. Or. You have quite much, you have quite the vantage point here, but you don't miss much. See anything special today? Yeah, everything everything in this body has gone to rust, except my eyes and ears. Bit of a commotion upstairs earlier. Stevie's men are twitchy. This pretty young thing came through earlier, snooping around like you two are. I could tell she weren't here for BTLs. I don't know how she got upstairs, but there was a lot more gunfire than there usually is this time of day. It's not good. Did you see her? Usually is this time Did you day. see her come back down again? Nope. A couple of Stevie's men came around asking what anyone saw. Kept my mouth shut. I did. There's Stevie hold up. He's got the whole top floor all to himself. Fancies he's the king around here. King of shit, man. <laughs> great. This is an ex- great. Now this is an extraction. Hey, old man. You know how to get upstairs? You've been right friendly, but I can't get on the wrong side of Stevie J. I'm sure you understand. Okay, now here's two options, neither of which I can access. Last time, because I was a shaman, I had the charisma to do that option. But if you have charisma four, if you have charisma four, you can say, "Look, we're here to save her." Do you really want that girl's fate on your conscience? Or you have strength, or if you have strength four, you can say, "I bet your creaky old old bones will snap really easily." <laughs> I don't have the stats for either of those, so just 
You've already stuck your neck stuck out your neck to help us to find another way. Whenever I hear somebody call somebody old man, I always think of um, Biff from Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, hey, is some, looks like there's a hole in the wall behind this old dresser. Interesting. Leave the dresser. The wall is crumbling here. Through a hole, you can see a rickety stairwell leading up. Oh, send your oh, this must send your drone through the hole. That's interesting. Nice. I, I never saw that option because you know I was a, I wasn't a rigger. But yeah, send your drone. Yeah, drones. Drones can go through like enclosed areas like vents in this game, which can be handy because you can like have them like sneak around. Your drone fits to the wall, snakes to the right, and back around to open the apartment door from the inside. All right. How rude. Oh, I didn't know that was an option. How rude. Oh, see that? That's a spirit summoning point. Oh. I bet that's probably another way to get in or something. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, probably what I could do is, if you summon that thing, she runs screen- she opens the door to run away, and you can go in that way. I see. So yeah, remember what I said about multiple solutions? Yeah. Alright. Once we go up What's that? I said that's awesome. Once we go upstairs, I'm not leaving until I find Coyote or I'm dead. You get it? I get it. Let's do this. Yeah, spirit summoning is mostly a combat thing, but sometimes you can use it to like solve puzzles. The penthouse suite. CVJ's penthouse apartment might have been nice at one point in time. Classic, even. But now it's filled with neon tube lighting, broken down furniture, piles of rubbish, and crates containing who knows what. Still, compared to the rest of what you've seen, it's positively palatial. The only thing marring the penthouse's pseudo-luxury is a woman's cry of pain in the distance, followed by laughter. Someone's being tortured for another's pleasure. You step deeper into the apartment. Huffing and puffing, you reach the top of the stairs. Looks like Stevie J doesn't use them much, if at all. <laughs> You're winded. So, do you do you play match tabletop? No, never really had it. No, you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, cool. I do actually. What What um, do you play? D and D mostly. Okay. Something that I noticed about people, uh, people who play. <laughs> Is that like they're even though it's an act of fantasy, your actual personality shines through a lot. Okay, makes sense. And people will tend to go out of their way to avoid like doing physical work. Really? And it, it makes no like. <laughs> um, I was in a game this one time with a, a friend of mine, and uh, we were in a party, and like there were two ways up the mountain. We could either wait until, like, wait a whole day for a ferry, or we could walk up the mountain. And, <laughs> and, like, we took a group vote, and I'm like, let's just go. And they're like, no, it's really far. And I'm like, what the f- <laughs> Even their imaginary doing? selves are just lazy bastards. I know. <laughs> I was like, well, we're in a game. You realize that we're not walking anywhere. And they're like, yeah, but it's so far. Alright, check out. I'm going up. I'm boosting rifle three. Full automatic fire available, weapon permitting. Nice. Will that empty the whole thing? Uh, no, but it does use quite a bit. But no, it doesn't empty it completely. Let's head up to dodge plus dodge two. Oh, yeah, let's, let's take, a, take a look at Paco. Need skills. Forty hit po uh, hit strength three, quickness five, intelligence three, willpower three, body four, charisma charisma eight, eight. He's very charming. Although he has no summoning, spirit control, or conjuring, or whatever, but he's just so he's just selling TVs at Best Buy left, right, and center, I guess. <laughs> well, Coyote likes him. Yeah, that would explain it, I guess. Why she's. Why she's with a guy who apparently brings, like, gangbanger thugs to just crash on their floor. <laughs> she puts up with their crap. He's not very He pretends to, uh, read to make, make himself look smart. Oh, that's right, yes! 
That's adorable. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see his equipment. Oh, he's got he's got a rifle too. Oh no, that's me. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wait. oh, Andy's got a drone. No, that's that's my that's him. He's got a baseball bat. I was gonna say it looked like he had some sort of sword or bat or something. He has a baseball bat, and he has an Uzi three semi-automatic or s submachine gun. Any cyberware? Just his natural eight charisma. Oh, okay, see, we've gone into, uh, we're like in, like, turn-based mode now. Uh-oh. Oh, we're just getting started. Hurry. But he's up to no good. Oh, there's a guy. It's not doesn't a guy named Trank. He's not a paying not paying attention apparently. Maybe he's on some tracks. What's that? I said maybe he's on some tracks. I want to explain a thing or two. Oh, I think he. Oh yeah, that's that's not his name. That's like a status effect there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, that's a pretty that, weird Okay, effect. yeah, that dude's just stoned! <laughs> Look, the floor is quiet, save for the loud humming of fluorescent lights. It seems like you have the drop on Stevie J and his men. Okay, th I didn't last time, because I remember last time I played this, I'm pretty sure as soon as that guy I just shot first and asked questions later. Uh -oh. Yeah, we can sneak in a bit. Oh! Hellhounds! Ah! Did you see that? Yeah. Just spat a fireball at me? You got the zebra meat though, right? Can you throw it? Uh, I gotta get close. <laughs> My little guy. Brother. Can't reach it in this turn. 